Welcome to this video of how it's designed and this time I'm going to explain which criteria and prerequisites one should be thinking about and successfully meeting before beginning SOLIDWORKS simulation. Let's get started. SOLIDWORKS simulation suite is a pretty advanced software um, so there's going to be some things that will ideally make your transition into learning this software as smooth as possible and so that you understand the concepts and the post-processing all the way to the results. But before we dive in, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give it a like. I'm going to, in the description, include a free SOLIDWORKS FEA simulation guide on the house, totally for free. So watch out for that link in the description. And I want you to think about becoming a Patreon member for exclusive SOLIDWORKS content every month. So the first thing is you should have some sort of mechanical engineering background or experience, guys. Uh, whether it's courses through university or online, having some sort of mechanical engineering knowledge of the principles and calculations, any statics, dynamics, fundamental courses of mechanical properties, mechanical design, that'll allow you to see how SOLIDWORKS finite element analysis is doing these calculations and the principles behind good mechanical design. Um, it's also a good idea to know how to set up boundary conditions and to check your work by calculating uh, reaction forces from applied loads and things of that nature. And of course, you want to have good basic knowledge of SOLIDWORKS. You need fundamentals of SOLIDWORKS known and on point from sketching, 2D sketching basics to part modeling basics to basic assemblies, maybe some 2D drawing experience. You want to have those SOLIDWORKS fundamental principles and skill sets known and practiced before you dive into SOLIDWORKS FEA and running any kind of simulation on your parts or assemblies. There's tons of free content out there. You can also learn and take a course on my website, howitsdesign.com slash courses. I offer a SOLIDWORKS basics course. The next prerequisite is you want to be familiar with data processing and organization. In SOLIDWORKS simulation, there's going to be a lot of post-processing uh, and organizing of data, charting and plotting, and showing visuals of those results. So you want to be able to take those results, clean it up, simplify it, and be able to present it to whether it's your engineering manager, your company, even sales or your professor, whoever your stakeholders are, you wanna be able to take very complex results and organize it in a way where someone not so technical could understand it. This skill set alone will greatly excel your career and um, you'll definitely stand out with this skill set. You should also be a little bit familiar with technical reporting, writing skills, and just putting together reports, like I said, for someone not so technical to understand. This is a great skill set to have for SOLIDWORKS simulation because it does generate complex reports, not all of the sections you're going to need. So cleaning up the reports and presenting it in a way that explains how and why you got the results that you got and simplifying it is going to be extremely valuable. A pretty obvious one, but can sometimes be overlooked, is you need to have a powerful machine for running SOLIDWORKS simulation. If you're trying to run it on a you know, basic Microsoft Surface that's just a tiny little laptop or tablet thingy, you're going to have a rough time running these simulations. And you should be at least exploring lightly, playing around with simulation courses before you 
do a deep dive into just trying to learn all of the skill set that it requires for SolidWorks simulation. So any of the nice little tutorials out there, you can uh, actually from, from the SolidWorks menu, just go to help SolidWorks simulation tutorials. They have some really good ones on there that you can just start lightly um, exploring and playing around with before you really take this head on. Or you can go to my website, howitsdesign.com slash courses. I do offer a SolidWorks Basics FEA course on there as well. And that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Some things you should know before diving into soft simulation. They're all very important. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Become a Patreon member if you want exclusive content. I'm going to put it in the description. And look out for that free guide in the description as well, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one.